Tevez and Mascarano were, I found them hilarious because obviously they didn't really speak English. They were both out of shape because they'd not done anything, I don't think. And I remember some of the lads coming in saying, useless, especially that Mascarano. <laughs> <laughs> He started 2006, 2007, of course, which became or well, ends up becoming quite a defining season for you, really, Dean, because that's when you were with England and you got this injury. It's just one of those things that could happen every day in training or in mm -hmm. games. I look at tackles all the time and think, you know, that that could be a bad injury or, you know, that, that could happen. It just so happened that it happened to me the day before I meant to make my England debut. The timing couldn't have been any worse. I thought that's it. That's my England, you know, you only get one chance with England. And I thought that was it. That was my opportunity gone. And at the time, though, I was, you know, I thought three or four months, it's bad, but it could be worse. Hopefully I'll be back before Christmas. Obviously, I wasn't to know the extent of the injury, the awkwardness of the injury and what was what was really to come. You set out for that next season, but it was quite an interesting season. We had the arrival of Tevez and Mascherano. We had new Icelandic owners. It was a season of change and 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 drama. It kept me going, to be honest, in the, in the physio room. There was so much going on. I mean, Tevez and Mascarano were, I found them hilarious because obviously they didn't really speak English. They were both out of shape because they'd not done anything, I don't think. And I remember some of the lads coming in saying, useless, especially that <laughs> Mascarano. <laughs> <laughs> he kept, I, I watched a few of the training sessions. He kept pinging it out of play. He, you know, he wasn't getting around the pitch as much. And, they were, you know, Tevez was showing a few signs uh, of what a player he could be. But I just, I remember, I reminded a few of the players of what they'd said in those first few days, you know, when they'd come back into the physio room and hammered them. And then actually they went on to be two incredible players. Your retirement, Dean, came December the 11th. 2009, just sadly 46 league appearances and 15 goals in nearly four years at West Ham and the age of 26. How do you feel about that time now? There's always a few moments every single year where I do just kind of sit and it it does just hit you that you you never got to really fulfil your potential. And that just hurt. That does just hurt because I felt like I had the potential to go on and have a great career. But again, as you mature and grow older, you, you, you learn to appreciate, you know, what you were able to do and achieve because there was lots of others, lots of my friends that never got that opportunity. Mm. And I've always felt that football's a fantasy world as well. To be treated the way you are, to get paid for doing your hobby, the thing you just love doing. It's it's all a surreal world. And when you step out of it, you sort of realise what <laughs> what is real, what is important um, in life. And I've been able to do that certainly as the years have gone on. Yeah, undoubtedly.